What's up everyone, it's Nick McCullum here, and in this video we're going to be working through the practice problems for lists from my Python Fundamentals course. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel to get all my future videos showing you how to become a better software developer. With that out of the way, let's dig in. So, we'll start with problem one, which says, create a list named my list that has three elements. The first element is the integer three, the second element is the string that says element number two, and the third element is also another list whose first element is last and whose second element is element. Last and element are both strings. So how do we do this? First, we have to write the name of the variable, my list, and then the assignment operator equals. And then we'll put an opening and closing square bracket because that's how we create lists in Python. So we're going to move back into the middle of those brackets and put the first element, comma, the second element, which is a string that says element number two. And then the third element, which is also a list, where the first element says last and the second element says element. Ooh, would help if I could spell element. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that's problem one. Let's move on to problem two. It says print the third element of the following list. Now this list is has, uh, it looks like it might be a one there, but it's actually the letter L. So uh, that's actually kind of poor convention and I'll avoid that moving forward. But to print the third element, we'd first type the name of the variable, which is L. And then in square brackets, we pass in the index of the element that we'd like to return. So the third element of the list will have index 2, since Python is 0 index. We run this block of code, and we get back 3, which is exactly what we want, the third element of the list. So that's problem 2. Let's move on to problem 3, which says, modify the last element of this list so that its value is 16. Print the modified list so that you know the operation was performed successfully. Okay, so how do we do that? Just like before, we can select the last element of the list using the negative one index. So list to modify, and then in square brackets, we pass in negative one. Oh, sorry, we pass in negative one. And then with the assignment operator, we can actually change the value of that uh, index within the list. So we want it to be 16. And uh, to print out the list on the next line, we'll put the name of the variable within a print statement. So print uh, bracket list to modify. What does this give us? A, B, 16, just like we want. So that's problem three. Let's move on to problem four. Calculate the length of the following list. Now in the last lesson, we learned that we can calculate the length of strings using the len function. And that, <clears throat> sorry, I mean, that function actually works on lists as well. So we can pass in the name of this list into the length function, list to find length. And this should return us the length of the list. Eight. Okay, so this length has eight elements in it. Perfect. Let's move on to problem five. It says calculate the sum of the following list. Just like we could use the len function to calculate the length of a list, we can use the sum function to calculate the sum of a list. So sum int list, and this will give us the sum of that list, 3,622. Perfect. Let's move on to problem six. Find the maximum value of the following list. Just like we could use the len and sum function to calculate the length and sums of lists, we can use the max function to calculate the maximum value from a list. So on the next line, we're going to do max of max list, and this should give us uh, probably this one. Let's see. Yep, 53,245. Perfect. Problem 7 says find the minimum value of the following list. As you can imagine, since there's a function to calculate the max value of a list, there's also a corresponding function called min that calculates the minimum value of a list. We do that and we get 134, which according to the eyeball test is definitely the smallest integer in that list. Awesome. Let's move on to problem seven, or sorry, problem eight, which is the last problem from these practice problems, which says, append the string, append me to the end of the following list. Print the list to ensure the operation has been completed successfully. Okay, so on the next line, we will do this. And how do we append items to a list in, in Python? We actually use the dot append method. And since this is a method and not a function, it actually has to be appended onto the end. Uh, sorry, append is probably not a good, word, a good word to use there, but it has to be added onto the end of the variable name using the dot operator. So we have the variable name and then the dot operator here and then the name of the method. And then in these brackets, we need to pass in the element that we need to append to the end of the list. So it says, append the string append me to the end of the following list. So here we put append me and then we can actually print out the variable to make sure that this was up executed properly. List to append. 
And as you can see, append me was successfully added to the end of the list. So that concludes our lists practice problems. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to get more future videos on how to become a better software developer. Thanks.